Oh my god. No way. Oh, look at that monster. What? Let's get you back in the water, buddy. How's this even possible? Oh. Later, bud. I got anything in my teeth? <laughs> hey, what is up, you guys? We are at one of my favorite local mountain lakes today. I'm gonna to be fishing for some rainbow trout. I got an awesome recipe I wanna try out. So let's get to fishing and see if we can land a couple trout and cook something up. Well, I decided to switch spots to this cool little uh, rocky outcropping here. I did catch one fish over there uh, jigging a little grub. I can't believe that worked. Holy cow, you guys. I've been out here fishing like two hours with no bites. Finally. Holy shnikes. What do we got here? A nice little rainbow. Get this guy in the net. Ah, oh, come here, buddy. Oh man, that's a nice looking fish there. Get him back in the water. Ah. What I'm using right now is my favorite mountain lake trout fishing setup, which is the Fenwick HMX. This is a six foot ultralight moderate action. And on there I have a Daiwa Fuego 1000 size reel. I have six pound braided line. And uh, right now I'm just using a spinner, a little rooster tail. Uh, so we'll give this a shot. And then if we don't get anything on this and a few casts, I might switch over to something else. Let's go. Dang. Well, no luck with the uh, rainbow bright little Cleo. So I'm going to try a little uh, red grub with about a I think it's a quarter ounce jig head. Uh, this is the only thing I've got a bite on so far today. So let's see if we can get something on this. Can you guys hear that? There's a bunch of geese to my right and a bunch of geese to my left. And they're having like a squawk war. I wonder who's winning. It's not me. Whew, this is brutal. So I didn't get anything on the grub. Threw on a little pink worm with a jig head. Been tossing that around for a while. And nothing but crickets. Well, geese. <laughs> uh, next. Hot damn, this is brutal, you guys. Just no love whatsoever. So out of protest, I'm going to slap on... Uh, a bobber and worm. This is my backup pole and I'm gonna go sit on a rock and sulk for a little while and hopefully get a fish. <laughs> Well, after a significant amount of sulking, all I caught was some crippling self-doubt about my fishing abilities. I even drove up the road a little ways to my favorite spot where I always catch fish. You guys have seen it before. Um, and I got probably 10 bites or so up there and I just couldn't get a fish to commit. Oh, 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 I watched him take it, dang it. Oh. I literally watched him go bite it. Missed him. Oh, oh, 
Oh. Oh. Oh, I missed another one. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. This is just the most brutal day of fishing. Oh. I just had another bite. I just came up and nibbed on it and then peaced out. I caught the one fish early in the day, but other than that, I almost got skunked yesterday. So it is actually the next day now. And uh, so what we're gonna do is take this, which in this bag is some wild rainbow trout that I caught a couple months ago at that very same lake. And this is an experiment. I wanted to see if trout would keep for a few months after I froze them. So these have been frozen a couple months, but they are fish I caught out of the lake that you just saw earlier in the video. So I'm down at the river today. I needed to get the adventure dogs out for a swim and get some energy out of them. So we're gonna cook these fish up down here and uh, let's get to cooking. Well, here's what the trout looks like after several months in the freezer. It actually looks really good. It's still shiny and looks really fresh. Let me get this thing filleted and let's get to cooking this. All right, so here's what's going on. We've got some flour. Uh, and of course it's loaded with Old Bay. Our bun, some pickles, a red onion. I don't know why they call it a red onion. It's clearly purple. And then our, uh, our rainbow trout fillets, which I kind of butchered a little bit. All I have is a mora knife and they were still a little bit frozen. And then we got some oil heating up over here. And hopefully the secret ingredient, which will be this garlic aioli mayo. So. I'm going to bread up these or flour these fillets and drop them in this hot oil. All right, that trout cooks really fast. Let's pull it out of there. See how it looks. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. That looks beautiful. Some of that oil off of there. And right on to the sandwich oh man nice and crispy golden brown that looks awesome let's see another piece on there and last piece all right set this one off to the side Slap a little onion on there, a couple pickles. I already got the aioli on. Call it a sandwich. First off, let's try a piece of the, the trout all on its own there. It looks amazing. Ow, it's definitely hot. Ow. I mean, it did just come out of like 400 degree oil. Uh, PSA, if you're deep frying anything or heating up oil in your deep, in your uh, jet boil, be insanely careful. It will catch on fire. <laughs> it will, if you're not careful. All right. Little piece of trout there. Oh. I've said this before in my other videos, but if you deep fry anything and put Old Bay on it in reverse order, put Old Bay on it and then deep fry it, it doesn't matter what it is, it's delicious. I think it could just be an old stick. Oh, that's good. Even the texture of the trout held up. I think my experiment worked. You can catch a trout and freeze it for months. Those, those trout are months old, so... I think if you catch a bunch of trout and you uh, and you can't eat them all right away, which is what I normally do, I think you could throw them in the freezer and eat them a couple months down the line pretty successfully. Well, it's actually starting to rain. I can see a big uh, evil looking dark cloud behind me, but let's give this sandwich a try. I'm pretty excited about this. I've been thinking about this recipe for a while. All right, first bite, trout's got the skin on it and all. Mmm. 
The dogs are coming over to see what's going on. They're like, I heard you had sandwiches. Hey, buddy. Are you here for the sandwiches? That's pretty damn good, you guys. I have one, uh, I have one criticism of this. And that is, I think, the aioli. It's actually a little bit sweet. And what I was going for was like tangy with the onions and the pickles. I think I'm going to say the most controversial thing that I've ever said on Cascade Backcountry. I wish that I had put Miracle Whip on it instead of the aioli to get a little bit of that tang. Miracle Whip is better than mayonnaise. I know like half of you are going to unsubscribe now. But... There's my dog running into the camera. Miracle Whip beats mayonnaise. Back up, Bubba. You're gonna knock the camera over. I'm trying to talk to the, the kind people. Oh, there's the wind. All right, you guys. Well, that, uh, yeah, it's really starting to rain now and the wind's picking up. So I'm gonna finish this sandwich. If you guys are into fishing, be sure and check out the description box down below. I'm always putting links to cool gear information and other videos down there. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.